going on boys your man Vinny keys i'm here to bring you guys and wrap up my gm connected season two of all native tournament i will put the name in the description of the video for those of you guys that are interested in joining up spell it exactly as i do in the description i know it's spelled incorrectly but that's kind of how it was from season one before i got into the league so if you guys are interested there's lots of team available a couple of guys came available after this season but we'll get into that in the future videos of my gym connected series hopefully you guys are enjoying all the highlight reels just giving you guys a couple of uh different perspectives and whatnot different videos and whatnot just so they're not all pack openings and you know all that type of stuff but if you guys want to check out my last one i got a great Connor mcdavid giveaway for you guys to get in on i really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me so check that one out there's a great roster update and a huge donation from a great subscriber so you guys want to check that one out i'll put the link in the description and you can probably just click in one of the links i'll put it in the video uh but for now we're getting into the highlights here of the first game big divisional matchup against the new york islanders uh this is actually clary one of the top players in the league uh, between between him and uh, I would say Washington there's a couple other teams in the West but these are the guys that I played the most and they finished highest in the standings to be honest with you at the end of the year uh, but we'll get into that at the end and then another video probably my next video I will do uh, one more game and get us into the playoffs plus all the stats for the rest of the season and maybe like the playoffs tree just so you guys can have an idea of who's playing who uh, and like I said you guys get an idea of the types of teams that are available for next year and all that good stuff uh, but like for now you guys can see it's a 2 nothing advantage as Derek Stepan was able to take advantage for me on a nice little penalty shot goal his goalie wasn't wrap, able to wrap his leg around the post so I was able to bank it off the leg and into the net uh, you can see there Brandon Gormley this guy actually lit it up for him this year uh, if you guys want to see I'll, I'll show the standings or the uh, stats for the players also uh, in the next video uh, he actually who's one of his top scorers along with John Tavares obviously I think leading the entire NHL or the entire Jam Connected League uh, but you guys can see there Broussard was able to give me the three to one advantage and seal the victory for me I was able to uh, split the season series with him now it was like I said it was a pretty intense series between us uh, but we were able to uh, like I said figure things out and it was actually a pretty decent game at, uh, at the end of it but uh, you know what we'll see how things go in the playoffs or in the next couple games we've got another one here against the Edmonton Oilers you guys got a quick look at his lineup he actually had a couple different ones like uh, Neil Yakupov and uh, Drew N from Tampa Bay pretty couple, uh, pretty decent pickups he actually had throughout the year uh, but for now we're going to go into the Edmonton game a couple of these guys I did have other matchups against them I was going to put up but I want to kind of wrap up the rest of the season and get into the playoffs and keep reminding you guys if you want to get in on the league so we can uh, fill up a couple of the roster spots uh, for season three uh, but like I said, make sure you look at the description for the uh, spelling of the league and get all that stuff correctly when you're searching. Uh, as we get into game two, Stepniak was able to give me the one nothing advantage on a nice pass from Broussard. Uh, he was able to dangle the goalie. You can see the next one here. Stepon from Nash was able to get another one, uh, giving me the 2 nothing advantage. And that was actually the final score. And that was actually the final score in both of the games that we played this year. I kind of had him with both uh, the time and attack and the, um, and the shots. But like I said, his team wasn't really the best. But he, him overall as a player was actually really good defensively. That's why the scores are so low. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can see there, I was able to get the victory. The third game here was against Winnipeg Jets. I felt bad for him because just before he came into the league, swaggerific, uh, fortunately, I took his Evander Kane. I traded them uh, uh, Chris Kreider. I think it's a pretty even trade overall, I guess you could say, in the future. But Evander Kane is, I would think, I got a better end of the deal in that one. Uh, but I think I did give him a draft pick, so we'll see what he ends up getting with it, if he sticks in the league or not. I guess what he does in the draft, and we'll see what happens. Uh, but you can see here, one of my younger guys, Anthony Duclair, gets a little bit of a controversial goal. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, if, it, uh, if, you, if this one should have counted or not, it went off of his skates. He was kind of going hard to the net. Uh, he tried to get it with his stick. Missed it, and yeah, it just went in. But you guys can see here, uh, the ref's going to make his decision in a couple of seconds. But you know what? In today's NHL, all these goals are going in. As long as you don't really, like, absolutely kick it in like a soccer kick, you know what? They're counting nowadays. So we'll take the 2 nothing advantage after the first period. But like I said, he's actually a pretty decent player. And it's just unfortunate that I didn't know he was going to actually come into the league near the end of the year. But it was good that he was able to fill one of the spots, uh, as a lot of you guys are able to do if you guys are interested in doing that, if you play versus. 
resources or you guys are interested in GM and all that stuff and making trades. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing to do to do on the side when you're playing or not playing ESHL or HUT or anything like that. For those of you guys that got bored of HUT or, you know, just looking for something different to do. Uh, you guys can see here he was able to get himself on the board. Uh, Havlet was able to uh, bury one from Chris Kreider. And as like I said, the Kreider, man, he was able to pay him or pay me back, man. Like I said, he's got to get his old team back. Uh, but unfortunately for me, it was still 3-1. to one. He was able to get another one back with Jacob Truba just forcing his way up through the middle, just burying it on uh, Henrik Lundqvist, making the score 3-2 to two, uh, in the third period. But I was able to uh, extend the lead here. As you can just see here, we were able to get the puck in front. Uh, Kane was able to bury one on another nice pass by uh, Derek Broussard. As he, able, got it, it was, he was able to get it in front, making the score now 4-2, to two, extending the lead to two goals. We were able to uh, pat it on just as the game went on. Uh, you can see JT Miller getting a nice little pass in front and burying it, making it 5-2, to kind of putting the game out of reach. Uh, but the last goal of the game, McDonough was able to uh, fire the pass on up to Broussard, and uh, McDonough was able to, or yeah, sorry, Broussard was able to put it in the back of the net, uh, making the final score 6-2. to two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the highlight reel. Hopefully it ties you over until like my uh, trade day comes out. I'm going to be posting all this stuff so you guys can uh, check it out. Uh, check out the last video with the roster update and get ready for the trade day coming right around the corner. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Check back soon for the remaining uh, season games for the GM Connected and sign up if you're interested. All right, boys. It's your man Vinny Keys. Smack a like on the buck or smack a like on the uh, button there at the bottom of the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.